Okay, another environmental control that I want to call your attention to is the concept of hot and cold aisles. So data centers can contain hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands of servers, networking equipment, storage arrays, and so on and so forth. So as you can imagine, all of those devices generate a lot of heat, right? Massive amounts of heat are generated from these devices. Even if you have in your house uh, maybe one or two computers, maybe you know a server, an Xbox, a PS3, a PS4, what have you. If you sit behind those things and they've been on for a while, you can understand they generate a lot of heat. So take that same amount, times that by 100 or 1,000, it gets very, very warm in a, in a data center, especially a large data center. So that's why HVAC is so important, but also in tandem with that is the concept of a hot and cold aisle. So hot and cold aisles help reduce heating and cooling because, again, our compute network and storage runs more efficiently when it's cooled properly. All right, so HVAC is also going to run more efficiently when it's designed properly. Okay, so that's going to save us money. Uh, you know, basically power costs o over the long run can get extremely expensive, again, especially in a large data center. So instead of simply placing equipment in a data center wherever we can, right, wherever it fits, it's much more uh, to our benefit to set it up in such a fashion that we are taking advantage of hot and cold aisles and we're maximizing our HVAC. All right, so the basic concept is to place the front of the systems on either side uh, facing each other so that cool air can be drawn on that aisle or, or basically uh, infused into that aisle, drawn in from those, from those sides, and then the opposing aisles will go back to back. Right, so the, the heat blows out the back of those systems. Those will then be the hot aisles. And the hot aisles is where we'll have our HVAC pull that heat basically out and then either recycle it or whatever, however that uh, HVAC system is set up. Typically, we're, we're going to recycle that air. All right, so it's filtered. It maintains a, a very clean atmosphere. So if we look at it a little bit more in depth, we also have the concept of hot and cold containment aisles. So in a hot air containment aisle, we basically have a enclosed area with doors that lead in and then in the enclosed area will be the hot aisle so we're basically containing the heat that way we, we can suck it out of that area and, and run it through our filtration system again and then the, the opposing aisles which are open would be our cold aisles the reverse of that would be a cold air containment aisle so in a cold air containment we have we actually have uh, our sliding doors and we keep uh, th that area of the data center or those aisles rather cold and by containing it in other words having those doors slide uh, across we can contain whether it's hot or cold we can contain that area much more efficiently so we're ensuring that uh, our hot areas are basically where our HVAC vents are we're going to pull that hot air out and then we're going to place cold air in all right so it gets filtered through 